different time, a different enemy. Sixty men from Tier 1 teams were sent to face down a force of 500 enemy fighters. Their objective? To force the enemy back from a civilian hospital and keep its occupants alive. For three days they held their ground. But the enemy's numbers were too great. The 60 were cut down to 15. They wouldn't last another night, and the enemy knew it. Under the cover of darkness, they evacuated the hospital, sending only one of their own to lead the way. The rest returned to the line and took up positions beneath the bodies of their fallen brothers. As they lay in wait, the blood from the dead poured over them. The sand stuck to their skin like a shroud, changing them, anointing them. When the enemy drew near, the remaining 14 rose out of the desert sand. They were like hunters that couldn't be seen, using stealth their enemies couldn't defend against. When the men ran dry of ammunition, they used their blades. And when the blades ran dull, they used their hands. When the dust and sand had settled, only one of the enemy had survived. He was picked up in the desert, wandering aimlessly, traumatized. He expressed warnings to others of a force so menacing and unbeatable, it could only be described as supernatural. He called them ghosts. And this really happened. So the legend goes. Come on, Dad. You don't honestly believe that story's true. Yeah, I do. Come on, let's head back to the house. Let's go. Shake a leg. Oh, a little tremor there. <laughs> Those things used to freak the hell out of your mother. Another one? Yeah, we'll get a couple more of them before everything settles down. Wind started to pick up, too. Dad, let's just get to the house. Make sure nothing got damaged. Control, the orbital weapons got a successful test fire ping. Roger, Mosley. Tracking weapon, dry fire signal. Hey, Baker, here's our ride. Let's head in. Payload, this is Odin Control. Ready to receive. Odin Control, we're heading back to debrief the new crew. Roger. We're prepping airlock C. Shuttle is in final docking sequence. Payload, 10 meters. Begin rotate. Five meters, payload. Two meters. Zero your rotation delta payload. 
Mosley, airlock C is ready for arrival. Capturing. Talk back is Barbara Pole. Begin retract. Copy, Halo. Pressurizing airlock. Hold. Oh, really looking forward to going home. What's it been? Three months? Halo, we have hard dock. And you're parked. That's tragedy. Hey, Baker, give me a hand with the unload. I got it! Odin Lane, repeat contact. Targeting on payloads three and four have been aborted. But payload two is still sequencing. Targeting locked. San Francisco, Denver, Kansas City, Chicago, Washington, D.C. We're not that Baker. Let's move to Odin and bring it down. I don't think we're making it home, Baker. Atlas mate, how many degrees off access to destabilize it? 23 degrees port or aft. But remote RCS systems are not responding. 23 degrees.
truck. We have to find him. Get across, quick. The Federation's rise to power had started years ago. When the great energy-producing deserts were destroyed, the world powers that depended on them collapsed, and in their wake, the Federation began to rise. The Federation united all of South America under one banner, and devoured everything in its path as it moved relentlessly to the north. After turning Odin against us, the Federation stood on the doorstep of America, poised for the kill. They thought we were weak, crippled, prey, waiting to be taken. We fought hard. We fought well. We fought them to a bloody stalemate. And here, just beyond the craters of no man's land, we find ourselves in a defensive war against a more powerful enemy.